Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world and welcome to this bank holiday Monday in the UK. It's really hot outside, I should really be paddling in the sea. What I was saying that, it's full of sharks. And today I'm just going to give you a quick update where I am with the Jaws challenge uh, that was set to me by Phil Siegel over on Spruverse. So where are we up to? I think it's probably best to show you what we're actually looking like at this very moment in time. So this is the shark in the fish tank. Now remember this fish tank is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. And this is exactly how I want to lay it out, which is why it's actually been uh, reinforced at the moment with string. Uh, but Hooper's going to be here with the silica bubbles coming out of his mouth. Uh, but as you can see, I've already put a layer of resin on the bottom. The bottom is actually completely and utterly solid and the resin's gone on really well. There's no bubbles in there or anything. So uh, I need to put resin in the whole tank. That's what it looks like uh, from overhead. His rod there, the uh, little harpoon, is actually encased in resin already as well. I'm going to actually apply the resin on top of that coral rock there, but this is just being held on by some bamboo. As soon as the shark and the uh, cage are in the resin, I can actually cut them off and fill up completely. But that is pretty much what it's looking like at the moment, just waiting for the resin. So let me talk about the resin. Now, if we look at the resin that I did have first off, it looks like this. Now the resin that I used is called Procast Max. That's what I was using. Now for one kilogram of this, costs about 20 pounds the price that i've been getting resin for is around 10 pound per kilogram so it's going to cost me around about 210 pound for the resin i want but i'll talk about getting the resin in a minute which is where i'm a bit stuck at the moment but uh that's the resin that i've been using and that gave this effect which i think is absolutely brilliant now in the first uh sort of like three centimeters here it's pretty much flawless uh, i did a second pour after six hours and you can't see a resin line you can see a resin line here though, and that was after 24 hours. So I let the bottom cure too much, and that's why you do have, I don't know if you can see that, a resin line going all around here. Now, the paint stripping off the actual uh, shark, uh, that's been caused by probably a couple of things. First off is I didn't prime this shark when I put the Vallejo acrylic paint on. Um, the mixture didn't heat up all of that, so I can't blame heat. So it must have been a chemical reaction uh, going straight to the acrylic paint on top, which has caused that. Uh, when I realized that was happening, I put some varnish just onto this top section here. And as you can see, the top section was pretty much untouched. So uh, I have made sure that the shark in the tank has been completely varnished, but uh, this is quite heavy. Uh, you can imagine when that tank's full, how much that's going to weigh. Now I'm guessing it's about six stone. We already know it's going to be about 25 kilograms of resin going in there. But it's the resin, as I said, I'm having a problem. Now, trying to get hold of something small like this, uh, it's pretty easy. One kilogram stuff, you can get it from the websites. But you check Amazon, uh, even the place I've got this, for anything more than 10 kilograms. Remember, I need 25 kilograms. As you can see here, either the prices are extortionate into the 600 pounds at some cases, or they just can't get hold of it. And there is warnings on some of these sites saying that there's a, a shortage of the raw shipments, the uh, the raw, the raw uh, materials that are needed to make the resin here. So uh, this German company, which I'm planning to get mine from, uh, is quite a good price. I think it's 209 pounds for what I need. But as you can see here, it's not going to be available now until June. Now, last time I looked at this, it said it wasn't going to be available till May 16th. They've moved the date. So I really am hoping that I can get some resin before the end of the month. But until I can do that, there's no way I'm going to buy 25 of these because that'd be far too expensive. Until I can do that, I can't do the pour. But uh, that's the update. Uh, something special for you, though, is that Phil over on the Spooverse channel is going to show you what his pours looked like because he's done his now tomorrow on his channel I, once again i have put the link to the Spruverse channel down here and also on the end video card as well you'll see phil's uh, face uh, the way you can subscribe to the channel and also the last jaws update video that he's done on there as well and you can click through for that but i mean i'm looking forward to seeing this because i haven't seen the video as well to see how his paws have gone hopefully they're uh, they're good uh, and then i can follow track when i finally get my resin and then I'll show you what the pores look like for that. But I thought we'd just do this quick update today. Uh, next video will be on the channel on Wednesday. There's going to be no live stream tomorrow on Tuesday, just so you know. Anyway, apart from that, hope you enjoyed that video. Take care.